We're just five days away from a rare celestial event, a total eclipse of the sun. On Monday, more than 31 million people from Maine to Texas will be in the path of totality. That is so cool. But here we will get to experience a partial solar eclipse, and that's a big deal. CBS News Miami's Maribel Rodriguez tells us what we need to know about the eclipse here in South Florida. It was 2017 when an estimated 215 million people viewed the solar eclipse directly or electronically. And in just a few days, it will happen again. But this time, according to scientific research, it could be even more exciting due to its path and timing. So the path for this one is a little bit wider. There's over 31 million people that are actually directly in the path of totality. So more people can just step out their door and see the, uh, see the eclipse and see totality directly. Uh, and the other thing that that's really interesting is that we're actually approaching a solar maximum. So for those who get to see totality or by watching the NASA broadcast, you may see some more some more swirls and some more interest in the corona during the, the, those few moments of totality than we did in 2017. And once this upcoming eclipse enters Texas, totality will last about four minutes and 26 seconds at the center of the eclipse path. However, here in South Florida, we will not see the full solar eclipse. So what will we see? What you'll see is, as, as was described earlier, that sort of the, the moon coming across between the sun and blocking the sun, and you'll gradually see sort of a bite get and take, getting taken out of the sun uh, as the moon comes in between, and then you'll eventually there see about half of the sun blocked by the moon, but you won't unfortunately see totality where you are. So what can we do here in South Florida to get the total experience? Pay attention to all of your senses because you will feel the temperature drop um, and you can you can observe the animal behavior around you, see if you notice any changes. So make it a multi-sensory experience. And remember, while watching the solar eclipse, make sure you're using safe solar viewing glasses such as these and also do not look directly at the sun through a camera lens, binoculars, or even a telescope while using the solar viewing glasses. Oh, wow, super cool. Maribel Rodriguez, CBS News, Miami. And Not we sure. feel super cool. Where I can't you? see you <laughs> at all. These glasses are crazy because they really do. If you, I'm looking straight at a studio light, and it's not hurting my eyes, but you can't see out of them at all. Right, and I checked on Amazon. Uh -huh. Let me take this off. Yeah. And you can buy two of these for it. about 15 bucks. So the, okay. the price is not bad. Yeah. And they will protect your eyes. So important. Yeah. We will have complete coverage of the solar eclipse next Monday afternoon. You can catch our special from 2.45 to 3.15, streaming on CBS News Miami, on Pluto TV, and the CBS Miami app.